It's me, Jimmy Eric. So the question is that should you put the Penn Foster College degree on your resume? The answer is yes. But again, number number one thing why you really wanna do Penn Foster College degree? Why you can't go to back a regular community college like? Why, why, why you have to do a Penn Foster College degree? Why? That is my question. Why? Why you just can't go back to the regular community college? What is the purpose? What is the point of doing something which is so useless and useful? Uh, I mean, useless. That's all I wanna say. Like, what is the point? If you have done something useless, then definitely put at least it can show that you are motivated to learn. You are willing to learn. That is my opinion. Should you put? Definitely yes. You should put. You should put on your resume because it shows that you are willing to learn. You are motivated to learn. That will be my opinion. I hope this answered the question. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section box below. Subscribe and bye. You can check out my channel MBA Market Business Africa where I talk about my. African business journey and give you tips and tricks on how to start a business in East and West Africa. I also check out my travel channel Outing Journal where I love to travel with my wife around the world. My wife is diagnosed with the retina pigmentosa so she is like now 75% technically blind but still we are not giving our hope. As you can see my wife is half blind you can check out this video. Also make sure to check out my Spider-Man video. This is also in general. Also check out my online travel magazine. Also in general where I love to write about travel articles, travel stories, for example, such as this one. I love travel writing. I want to become one of the best travel writers out there. And I'm also teaching on Skillshare. Please, please, please check out the Skillshare. I'm, I'm giving you a one month free trial. Here is my course on Skillshare. More courses are upcoming on Skillshare. I'm teaching on Skillshare. And also check out my courses on Udemy. Yes, my courses on Udemy. I have around four courses, over 20,000 students. Most of my courses are going quite well. Make, make sure to support me on Skillshare and Udemy. That's all. Keep going on never stop learning learn until you die bye